hello guys you're welcome to our youtube channel this is niger pride crazy tips and today we are going to continue from where we stopped in our previous video where we we'll talk about how to create um add mob ending app we're talking about news app all right so we started this from the first video second third and i guess this is the fourth video all right so if you haven't watched the previous video just try to make sure you watch all those ones so that you can be able to cope with this particular video that you are watching right now okay so um if this is the first time of visiting our channel this is our niger pride crazy tips uh you can go straight to your uh, youtube and search for um niger pride uh, crazy tips uh, this is the home right so here we talk about how to make money online how to create mobile app how to make money through adstara and other ad network right so this is my channel um you can see uh, we started this video or uh, few uh, okay let me let me turn on my brush so you can understand what i'm talking about already, okay so this is the first video uh this is the first uh, video here um sorry this is the first video here then after watching this you need to watch this after watching this then you watch this is the third one then after watching the third video and then we will we'll now move to this particular one that you're watching now and making it the fourth video all right so it is simply how to um create android app and this is news app okay we are uh, uh completing the video soon so we started from scratch you understand we started from scratch we started from scratch like till we publish this app on play store and we start promoting it before we end this tutorial okay so try to be following all right so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please try to um subscribe to this channel then if you really want to assess all of this tutorial once so what you just need to do is to is to go straight to um okay uh you just need to to click on this playlist here then you're going to see uh, to, uh how to create app for free you can see it here how to create app for free you can just click on it like this and then here is the three videos okay this is the three videos here right so this particular one you're watching now will make it four you understand we'll make it the fourth video and the fifth and the sixth because we still have up to like two videos coming because today we're going to complete this app then after completing it the next video is for us to publish it on play store then immediately publish it on play store the next thing is now to start promoting the app okay i'm going to show you guys how to make money and after promoting the app we're going to check our AdMob account to see how the thing is performing all right so let's continue from where we stop so in our last video we we although, although we have created the app i'm going to show you the app right now okay this is nigeria um nigeria news today it's headline okay this is the app okay you can see it here that um things is working well right here, okay so uh, if you really want to know how we added all these uh, images all this stuff how we added all this stuff here then you just need to watch the first video and the second one okay then another thing is um this stuff here this uh button button here or this button button you also need to watch the previous video before this okay to learn how we added all this stuff here okay now in uh, uh we talked about how to um assign uh stuff to all this uh button button so that once you click on it it will take you to somewhere okay um this is home page you know you should know that once you click on it to take you to this particular place now now this is explore this explore right now this is the work of this explore once you click on it it will it will it will enter all this uh all this uh, uh, uh um vanguard news uh uh the nation punch news legit it will enter there and extract newly published uh, um uh, uh, uh content or news and show it here okay so that once you click on it it will take you straight 
to where you're going to read that particular news okay so another thing that is great in this app is ability to show this uh, notification here this is a nice one okay so if if uh let's say punch news published a uh, new content na 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 it will add to this nine and it's going to be ten so so that immediately once you open your app the news app and if you, you, you don't just want to be to start opening all this stuff one after the other to check the recent update what you just need to do is to hit on this notification here and then it will show you the newly published you can see it's here check it you see today this is today today you understand today today okay so maybe on this uh, on the process maybe uh, any of those um, uh, news site will still publish new content and it's going to show here making this 9 10 all right so let's um let's proceed right now so the next thing here is um we are going to assign because we have assigned this uh, something to this and this this is explore okay and this is home then the next one here is this particular one and this one okay and now we are going to for this one now we are going to assign um uh, uh privacy policy to this particular one then for this one we are going to use this as contact us okay contact us so how do we do go about it first of all we're going to work on this contact us button before we talk about the um, uh, privacy policy and i'm going to show you how to do that right now okay now what you just need to do is uh if today is the first time of following us you just need to go straight to your play store to play store and then search for app creator 24 that is what that is the app the two we are going to be using okay just search for um app creator 24 okay then this particular one with the red um color that is the one we are going to be using okay that is the one we're going to be using you can see that um here you can you can easily um assess tutorials on how to create app and you can create your own app here and then if you if you want to learn how to run sketchware you can learn it here then another one is that you can publish your app directly through this app you can see the publish your app on google play store and another one is that uh, the app has a creators forum where you can ask questions if you have uh, any difficulties you understand you can just ask them okay so that is what we'll be using so now um for us to assign that stuff to this particular button here if you, if you click on it now it's not going to take you to any place so we are using this as a contact button okay uh -huh. all right this is what i was telling you guys you can see that uh, a, a new update has been added to this okay so let's check to know where the update is coming from once you click on it okay you're going to see that is going to show you now you see uh, that is now they said machina convert whether convert canvases vote for tinubu buni ignores lawan okay now once you click on this stuff right now it will take you to this place where you click on it and then it will take you straight to where you're going to read that um that particular post so this is very nice app i think it's very nice so um now we continue that is assigning stuff to this particular point okay now let's um go straight to our app to 24 and then if today is the first time of uh, opening this uh app to 24 you just need to sign to sign in and then sign up and then you log in that is all then you watch the other previous videos and then you move okay now um we'll go to section oh sorry to design once you click on design you go to bottom button we we'll go to bottom button this is bottom button here once you click on it this is it here you can see that um uh, home icon that is explore icon uh contact us icon and then this one is a privacy policy icon so that is how it's going to be right now so you can see what i did this one was uh, once you click on it home 
it will open say section if you want it to open web you can set it to open web but open a section then you are going to select the particular section that you want it to open which is the nigerian news today that is uh, this uh, interface that is once you click on it like this take you straight to the main um, interface where it will show you everything okay now now let's go straight to the other ones which is um the privacy uh, sorry the, the contact us button down for us to create a contact us uh, button we just need to do something here uh, we just need to create click on section once you click on section then you click on create section once you click on create section we are going to be using um um well if you, if you can use um html to create this particular section you can use any other stuff but for now let's go to um let's go to let's go to uh creator social creator let's go to socialcreator.com for us to create that stuff then you just need to log in this social creator is also like app creator 24 you understand so but here is basically for web stuff so here we're going to to name this thing um uh, 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 Nigeria news um, uh, uh, contact us contact us all right so now um, we are going to to save click on next okay here go to fill the upper uh, description uh, you can just put anything because it's not going to it's not that necessary uh, okay the required data is the image the app icon okay you can just hide anything there you can just hide anything there mm. let's put the let's put this one there the icon now the app has been created so here we're going to check white this is a uh, the uh, the app type so now we go to app manager so we can add that particular contact us button create click on create section then you're going to see form you can see form here this is form so click on form then section title is contact contact us okay then um the title should be also contact us or get in touch okay then description um you may say um get in touch with us if you have uh, any support suggestion suggestion or um or collaboration all right then is it same time headers yes let's say yes we're going to center a shading yes now we are going to start creating the form now okay we're going to start creating the form now we're going to put the new divider okay then we we'll put click new field now here we're going to say uh, uh, this is the field uh, stuff then title the title of the first field is uh, let's say name okay now show title yes now internal name yes then type we're going to say um okay let's say it's text okay then subtype here is where we're going to select if the person uh, if, if it is name password email or url so leave it in text if you want to if you want a person to enter his name okay 
now we're going to, to say it is required okay okay uh, it is required then we now save this you can see we have saved that now for us to to see to check this we're going to save this here right now after saving it you click on this thing so that it will show you the preview of what you are doing mm -hmm. you can see it here contact us get in touch with us if you have any support suggestion or collaboration you can see here you can enter your name you understand and this is that that first thing i would do that 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 uh, divider you can see it here so you can easily put another divider if you like okay so here you can easily enter your name now let's go back okay here now because maybe we'll put another new divider hmm? now we we'll add another new field now the new field is going to be a password hmm. let's say it's an email email okay now um we're going to subtype it's going to be oh, sorry email email okay then we we'll, we'll put it required okay um when i say save okay then as we saved it now we we'll had another divider and add another field okay then we we'll had a uh, description or or your message your message show title yes um okay and um this one now uh, long text um we're going to say text area okay uh it's going to be required so we're going to uh, save this and then we're going to save it straight here and then then we'll, we'll click on this to to see how it look like all right you can see it here here you can add your name Joe and your email uh, Niger Pride Chris Deep one and then here you can add any blah 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 and then you send the information has been sent all right so now we are going to configure this particular stuff so that whenever they click on that send it will it will show in our own ending okay so now we are done with this so what we need to do now okay you can see that um, they have sent this message to me you understand so whenever somebody click on that contact us then the uh, social creator will send the message straight to the gmail which you used to sign up with them okay so that is how it works now the next thing we, we need to do is to for us to get this form now to the other so uh, up to 24 what we just need to do is to click on this uh, web stuff and then hit here and copy copy this url you understand copy this url so but if you check this place you notice that this stuff here is not necessary this particular stuff here is not necessary we put it there so what we just need to do is to remove that stuff go to to design go to headers and then um we are going to change say use image app none okay um we are going to save this and general style uh, okay white is good menu type here now we're going to menu type is top menu so we're going to put it to to none okay and then for for mobile mood menu we're going to put it to none and then we'll save it okay let's check it now to see how it look like boom you can see it that stuff is no more there no more there okay then for this notification button here if you like you can turn it off if you like you don't there is no news you can see it here okay now since we've copied that stuff we'll go back to april 24 and then We'll go straight to 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 the bottom, uh, bottom menu. And then we'll locate that particular one. Contact us here is it. And then we'll click on. We're going to change this to contact. Contact us. 
now this place we're going to click on open web and then we'll paste this stuff here okay we we'll paste it there and then we'll save it then after saving now we're going to check this app to know if what we are doing is working or not all right so now uh, let's go we need to search for the app okay good now we're going to hit on this uh, stuff right now and it's going to take you straight to this uh, button to this form okay it's not loading well let's click on it again wow this is this is another problem so we need to to make this mobile response responsive okay it's, it's, we need to make it responsive so how do we do that we just need to go back to um okay we just need to go back here and then go to general right mm -hmm. primary push notification we we'll say no we we'll say no okay right then we'll save this yeah show first time setting to ask user to create okay you said no okay four times and then we'll um, instruction title okay sorry okay uh -huh. menu type okay let's leave it here and let's leave it here let's check how it's going to be right now wow this is still the same thing this is still the same thing okay okay this is another problem to solve so you know one thing with this upgrade is at times you face some kind of challenges and then you solving the challenge will make you a pro okay so nobody's perfect here so now um i've used this uh, particular section before to create contactors but this time around i don't just know what's going on here okay maybe you will change the app name to something like this okay on n okay and then we'll now, um, uh, change this to only N and discussion to N. Okay. Remember, we are sourcing for for solution. I know why why all this is going on there. So so that if you face that kind of challenge, then you know how to tackle it on time. Okay, let's go there again. Okay, this is still big. Okay, now let's um check on um let's check on the description we gave to it. Uh, let's remove the description. Where is the contact? Go to go to go to section and uh, contact us. select all okay uh -huh. okay now we are going to this is enter the headings uh, let's say no shading uh, let's say no okay now here now we say you are ready to send data email to send data okay 
same email sent okay here if you want to change the email uh that once they send uh the stuff it would it will, like when they send uh submit button then it will take the data to any email that you may provide here this is where you're going to put those ones then button text if you like you change it if you don't like you leave it like that okay so let's um click on save to see um the action here okay all right you can see that um we are the stuff is returning small small okay is returning small small so we still need to work on it small so that it will return fully okay now let's go back there okay mm. we're going to remove this title right now as we remove the title click on save then We'll, we'll check on it again so you can handle this particular issue now because i don't want in a situation where someone will start uh uh sending me uh stuff uh, i i don't know how to say to this thing i don't know how to fix this thing this is how you do it you reduce the the, the stuff so that it will give you what you are looking for okay now that is it Okay. that is it now um for for this particular one your message here we're going to remove your okay okay then maybe we we'll say no here let's say no here and then we'll save it again all right So here now you can see uh um let's say no ne no uh my gmail and then we can write something here uh, okay here say uh hi I'm um, Joe let's talk on WhatsApp on WhatsApp this is my my uh number okay you now put your gmail here put on my rebecca here and then the next thing is to hit submit you can see the form has been sent now in less than five minutes they are going to send you a message here all right now we have assigned stuff to this particular one and then the next one is this one here which is um what is this one going to be um okay privacy policy now for you to locate this privacy policy you just need to go straight to your upgrade to 24 and then you go to general sorry name and icon sorry uh general i mean general then you scroll down you're going to see this web address here copy this web address copy it copy this and then you you go straight to to that bottom button and then uh, the name is um uh privacy policy privacy policy then click on this and then set it to web set it to web and then paste that web address 
and then you save it. All right. Now, let's test it to see if it is working. Um, okay. When you click on it like this, it's going to load that web address and this is it you can see it here you can read the privacy and content policy from there okay but the problem is that it is not it cannot zoom it cannot zoom so for you to handle this very well you just is that you use another website to create this particular to copy this uh, content uh, privacy and policy content uh, this stuff and then copy it to that particular place make it a web address and then you you use it here or you can easily okay let's copy let's copy this select all copy then we'll, we'll go back to upgrade to 24 and then we're going to click on on section click on section add section create section and then we're going to select text and image this is text and image then we're going to use any of this uh, stuff here let's click on this particular one here and then we'll use it now here uh, privacy policy okay now uh, 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 same as general no we're going to, to use custom good now we are going to configure the section the title the title is going to be uh, privacy privacy policy okay then if we are adding image you can add image here but if you don't want to add image you can you can put subtitle if you don't want to add your subtitle you can just paste that text here once you paste it here and then you go ahead and then save it then after saving it you go back to that the bottom menu bottom menu and then click on that this open web to open section then you choose that the uh, privacy policy from here and then you save it once you save it let's go back to that app again and seek once you click on it like this it's going to take you straight to this and you know this is bolder and then you can easily read it from here so this is the best practice okay you don't just copy that web address to this place if you don't like you can just use this particular one and this is very faster than the other one you can see it's very faster okay so people are still publishing publishing content it's almost 13 um, content published today like this so and that is just it um, that is just it now if you want this particular point you can see I'm going to show you something now You can see that once this button is clicked it will hibernate it will not be pure white again you can see it if I click this one now it's going to change color you see it so but this color is not showing very well so for us to change this stuff you go back to your to your uh, upgrade to 24 and then go to that bottom menu okay and here is where you're going to change the colors Okay, this is the title column okay which is white and then the background color is green so we use that green because um because we we are using this uh because okay because of the uh, uh, the, the app now the color of the app okay so now go to colors to colors now in a okay, section separator section indicates color they have a um, top bar icon they have the active section color when the uh, the section is active it will be uh, this uh, uh, green but the inactive section color will be this color and that is the color the other one uh, is showing so if you like you can change it you can change it to any uh, color of your choice okay so it's very simple to do Okay, but for my own, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just showing you all those things so that in case if you want to change it, 
okay now um that is that is that for this particular button button at least now you know how to to change all this stuff and add new um uh, a kind of add uh command to it okay so that once they click on it it will take the person to the right place that is nice and then thank you for watching today's tutorial make sure you subscribe to this channel in our next video i'm going to show you guys how to um, publish this app on play store and then we'll start earning money from it okay so in that one in that our next video i'm going to show you how to add your uh, ad mob ad unit so that ads will start showing on your app okay now i'm also going to show you something now you know i had a little issue before on ad mob and i've learned so many lessons from them so whenever you are using image on your app make sure the image is not copyright to don't say i do not tell you do not say i do not tell you because if they buy your account don't come and complain to me you see this the nation this particular icon here you see all this legit all this stuff now if you publish it you understand that is the time you notice that legit.ng news website has a particular people set of people that that is their own work is to check play store other apps and websites to see if anybody is running copyright on their any of their icon any of their resources once they notice they report that person and if they report your app, your app is going to be suspended immediately. And there's nothing, there's no two ways about it. And if you, if you, if, if you violate like two or three times, they're going to, to, to terminate your, your console account. So what you just need to do in this case, what I would just need to do right now is to change all these images. What, how am I going to change it? I'm going to write only their names with the big, bigger, uh, 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 capital, capital letters. Share your graph. So that everything will go well without violating anybody's uh, stuff. Like this particular one, I will just write only Vanguard without putting this V because that V is their main point. Then the nation, I'm going to put the nation without putting this uh, icon here. I put punch news, all those things is what I'm going to do right now. Like if you want to learn how to create those content, those uh, uh, bot, uh, button, watch the other video. So what we use is Pixel Lab. So in this pixel lab, we're going to set, um, we're going to set uh, the, we're going to set up the, uh, the size of the, of the, the image, which is we're going to delete this particular one, delete this vanguard, then we we'll set up this very well. For you to learn how we did this before, you just need to watch the previous video so that you can cope up with this. Then here we'll click on this. Um, okay. Now we'll go to text and add text to it. And that is Vanguard, right? Good. Vanguard. You now put the news here. Now, we're going to change the color. The color it should be red. Oh. Sorry. I've made a mistake. Go to text again. Add, um, Van Vanguard News. Good. Then we change the name, uh, the color, to red, and take it down here. Good. Then we are also going to change the font so that it will be very very bold. Good. Then we are going to change the the alignment to this. Okay, I think this is nice. Then the next thing is to make it to center it. 
can see it. Now, this particular one, now nobody on earth will tag this anything copyright. So we just need to save this image. Save this image. Then once you save it like this, you go straight to your, for you to change your own, you go straight to this place and then go to section. Once you click on section, you go to the home page, which is Nigerian News Today. Then you locate the one of Vanguard. This is the Vanguard. Click on it. And then change the change this uh, image. Remove this particular one. And choose that particular, that, that new one that we just um, exported. This is it here. And then you do what? You save. After saving, we now check that app to see um, how far. You can see that I've changed this particular one now. Now for this uh, the nation, what you try to do is to check the background. Just try to to uh, to to do something that is similar to uh, the uh, to the web um, icon so that it will look very neat and nice. So this particular the nation, I'm going to use the background green. Uh, sorry, the uh, the green background and also use white color to write this uh, the nation. So that is what I'm going to be doing now. After doing that, guys, the next video, I'm going to show you how I did it. And then we'll proceed to publishing the app on Play Store. And then maybe after two or three days, uh, the app, this app will go live on Play Store. You guys are going to install it on your phone and then we'll, we'll check on how it goes right now. So, so thank you for today's tutorial. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. Because after this uh, tutorial, we are going into another one, which is going to be bigger than this. Thank you.